Anertica appears to be leaping ahead of the pack with what looks to be the first truly practical long distance EV sports touring motorcycle. The Italian Motorcycle Company is now accepting pre-orders for its Xperia, which was unveiled in late May. It features a new motor and the largest battery in the EV motorcycling industry. Energica says its new 22.5 kilowatt hour pack is good for up to 130 miles of interstate travel with a peak 102 horsepower rating at 7500 RPM. What makes it special is its combination of power, range, luggage, fairing, and fast charging. Energica estimates the Xperia will get to 60 miles per hour in three and a half seconds with a weight of 573 pounds. It's already being compared to Ducati's Multistrada on social media thanks to similar styling and same country of origin, although it remains to be seen whether the Xperia will have the same rugged off-road chops as the Multistrada. The Zero Motorcycles SRS is probably the Xperia's closest EV competitor right now, but the two bikes will likely appeal to different audiences for a variety of reasons. At the top of the list is charging. Since Zero doesn't offer CCS DC fast charging, it starts off with a big disadvantage when it comes to interstate travel. Energica is the only EV motorcycle maker right now that offers both level 2 and level 3 charging. CCS chargers are more plentiful next to interstates and with a 3 kilowatt hour level 2 charger, the Xperia can still take advantage of level 2 charging when needed, although at significantly lower speeds than all but the base zero. Next up is range. To come anywhere close to the Xperia's range, SRS buyers will have to spring for Zero's optional power tank, which ups interstate range to 113 miles, but that also means settling on Zero's slower 7 kilowatt hour charging setup, since the rapid charger option goes in the same space as the power tank option. Bottom line, if you want a to tour on an EV motorcycle, based on specs, the Xperia is the clear choice, although we also know that motorcycling comes down to a lot more than what's on paper. With the Nergica, you get a chain drive, while Zero goes with a quieter belt drive. The Zero will also appeal to shorter riders with a lower 31 inch seat height compared to the Energica's 33.3 inch perch. The weights are similar once the Zero is optioned out with either a power tank or rapid charger although base models are lighter at 518 pounds. Both bikes offer top and side boxes to keep up with storage needs. The Zero style leans more toward a traditional sports tour, whereas Energica leans toward adventure touring. Given Zero is likely to move its DSR line over to the SRS's generation, motor, battery, and software, it will likely have a closer competitor to the Xperia in another model year or so. But the bigger question is when will Zero catch up to Energica on charging speed? Without CCS charging, Zero is currently running behind as the U.S. and much of the world focuses more infrastructure development on faster Level 3 charging. While Zero's Level 2 charging speeds far outpace Energica's Level 2 charging, that matters less and less as CCS becomes more dominant. The Xperia has a peak charging speed of 24 kilowatts, although current Energica owners have noticed significant drop-offs from that peak factory rated speed, especially when doing multi-charges on hot days. It's unknown right now whether the Xperia will be able to maintain a faster charging curve than the current bikes. The announced Xperia Green Tour U.S. base price is $25,880. A Zero SRS with a 15.6 kilowatt hour battery and 12 kilowatt level 2 charging setup costs $24,995. But 
That doesn't include a software unlock to access the full 17.3 kilowatt hour battery capacity, nor does it include the shad hard luggage or mounting hardware. Zero doesn't list the luggage cost in its accessories catalog, but to get a top box, side cases, and mounting hardware, it will easily mean a bike that tops $26,000. Plus, most Zero riders will probably want to spring for a Cypher store upgrade or two, like the battery capacity unlock and 13 kilowatt charging. So once options in TT and L are figured in, the SRS could top $28,000. The day I checked, Energica hadn't released its extra cost options yet. Since the Xperia deliveries haven't started yet, it's too soon to say how it will handle or perform, but with specs and components like Pirelli, Scorpions, and Brembo brakes, all signs point to it being a winner. One thing's for sure, Energica is coming on strong. If you've enjoyed this episode of EV Rider, please give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can bring you more adventures in EV motoring. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.